Hey, what's going on? Mental health declining in the workplace. We've been talking about it for decades. I've been talking about it for as long as I can remember. And the Gallup report, I read the opening statement from the CEO, John Clifton, who said that the interventions that we're putting in place in the workplace are not the right things to do. And he said, you know, you can't get somebody who's extremely stressed. You can't fix them with a yoga mat. And it's so true. And I think one of the biggest things we need to do, and we haven't done it, I know we haven't done it, is to remove the stigma of mental health in the workplace. There's been lots of research, you can Google it and find it yourself, that from people who have suffered mental conditions and have said they did not tell their employer. They did not reveal it because they feared repercussions. They feared that be, they'd be looked at as not able to do their job. And if you've got people that fear other people finding out that they've got you know, anxiety or stress or a mental condition, they're not going to talk about it. So all of the interventions that you put in place for all the right reasons, such as mental health first aiders, are a waste of money because people will not use them. I will not go and talk to a mental first aider in case someone sees me doing so and says, hey, Karen's got an issue. We have to get rid of the stigma. So we need leaders in the organisation to you know, put things on the table, have the open and honest and sometimes blunt conversations. Get people from outside the organisation to come in and generate conversation about mental health. Make people feel safe to talk about it. Leaders themselves can say, you know, there was a time in my career where I was absolutely stressed out and anxious and I was losing sleep and whatever it might be. Because if that's happened and a leader can share it, other people will do the same and they will share too.